Hey guys, welcome back. I have to make this purge block. You probably have to make one too, and hopefully this helps you get that done. I'm gonna show you how I'm making mine with the bare minimum of tools. You don't need anything too special, but you do need taps, and uh, a drill press is great if you have it. If you don't, a bench vise is good enough. But I'll go over some of the tools that you need just to get this done. All right, let's get to work. First and foremost, eye protection. Before you do any of this, get yourself some eye protection, safety glasses, goggles, whatever. Just make sure you're protecting your eyes. Squinting, looking away, isn't gonna do anything for you. Cover your eyes. All right, so onto what you need. Obviously your flange, whatever you're gonna back purge. Chunk of aluminum, go to your local metal supplier, see if they have a remnant room. They usually have uh, pieces that are left over from jobs. Aluminum, because it's gonna act as a heat sink and it's easy to drill and tap into. Make sure you have your fittings, your bolts, whatever else you're gonna use and match the tap to that fitting. So match the tap thread pitch to that fitting, match the tap thread pitch to the bolt and so on. And also make sure that you have the proper drill bit for that tap. Taps are usually gonna tell you what drill bit to use. Here I'm using a centered filter or muffler. Now this isn't a must, but I wanted to use it because it is gonna diffuse the argon throughout the workpiece like a gas lens would. So I chose to use this. Now a set of transfer punches and a center punch are gonna be pretty useful so you can make registers onto the aluminum so you know where to drill. So what these are gonna do, they're gonna locate the center of the mounting hole for, for the flange. So you get whatever transfer punch fits it best, put it in place where you need, hit the top, that's it. Leaves a register, leaves a mark. And if you need to go over it a couple more times, you can do so. Go over it with the center punch and that's fine. Now this is useful because it's gonna prevent the drill bit from walking out on you when you're drilling into the aluminum. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to use WD-40 when I'm drilling and tapping into aluminum. Make sure you have a good driver, a good drill, charge batteries, and a bench vise. For some of those bigger taps, you're gonna have to put a lot of torque into it, especially if you wanna drive that fitting uh, further in. Drill press is great as well. This one's already finished. Now, I did use a 716 drill bit for a quarter inch tap but I like to do it in steps. Pilot hole, then just gradually work up to the last drill bit. Quarter inch tap here. This is, this is going in easy because it's already finished. And then make sure that you test fit your fitting. And like I said, if you want the fitting to go in deeper, you're gonna have to drive that tap in deeper as well. So now I'm just gonna drill another feed line at the top Drill a little bit more and tap for that filter. Drill and tap for the mounting bolts, and we're good to go. Here I'm drilling another feed line at the top. The bottom feed line hits the downpipe, so gotta make another one. Drill, tap, clean it and make sure it fits. All right, onto drilling for the mounting bolts. Now I chose to drill all the way through and I was doing this in steps as well. Pilot hole and just gradually working up to the final bit. Now it's okay to do that. I didn't wanna guess where I needed to stop or anything and it's perfectly fine. It's not the argon feed that I drilled straight through. Now that'd be a problem because then I'd have to tap the bottom and I don't wanna do that. So make sure that you don't drill straight through the Argon feed. Here I'm drilling a bit more. Make sure you lubricate that drill bit. Don't just run it through dry. Here they are all drilled straight through. I think one of them I tapped just to make sure that I had everything correct. Again, safety glasses. I covered this at the very, very beginning. Cover your eyes. Very, very important. You don't want to end up in the hospital with metal shavings in your eyes or else you're not going to do anything. Cover your eyes. 
eight by 1.25 tap, and that's for the mounting bolts. So you can see those are threaded. They're not threaded all the way through. I didn't need to do that. And that's how I tapped into it. So you can take your drill or driver and just gently tap them in there, in and out, in and out, lubricate it, make sure everything's good. Remember, don't drill into that one all the way through. All right, that one's next. All right, so now I'm gonna drill for the centered filter. Make sure you don't go all the way through. Do it by hand, and then if it fits your drill like it did here, you can just drive it in. Make sure it fits. If you want it to go in further, just drive the tap in further. And that's it. Purge block finished, ready to go.